Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm here besides this awesome Lenovo slash IBM X3650 model 4 which has a 3.5 inch hard drives in the front but we are gonna be trying to see if we can boot from uh, one of these Intel solid state drives it's it's kind of a PCI NVMe SSD disk they're relatively fast these are older they're from back in 2015 and they are 400 gigabyte drives I did a previous video where we tried out two of them I've taken this one out and I've also taken out the other boot media that was in there we were booting on this M.2 SSD with a SATA interface and um, yeah just to not mix everything up I took out all the stuff that uh, that was not needed so we're gonna try and see if we can boot from that here it is in the riser card uh, this server only has one CPU so there is only just one riser card in here and uh, plenty booting from NVMe is something that not all servers can do this server is from back in 2012 and at that point NVMe was not really a thing so only servers that has had their biases modified and updated will be able to boot from them and especially with these IBM servers that Lenovo took over I think I've heard about some limitation that Lenovo slash IBM was not allowed to do changes uh, add new features in the BIOS which also could manifest itself by them not building in NVMe boot options on the earlier versions this server is from just about when when Lenovo and IBM made that deal so I think it's possible but we'll check that out we need to go into the BIOS and tell it that it should boot from this and then we need to install something on it and see that it boots from it so we need to power this thing uh, I disconnect it because it's it uses power and it's no reason for that when I'm not filming it's a little bit more noisy when it's pushing up so in just a little bit I'm gonna be able to get into the BIOS I believe it's F1 and it's gonna tell me down here when it's ready I think I can press it already so that I don't miss it and um, yeah if I wanted to boot well, later we're gonna be installing uh, from a USB key and that would be F12 to select the boot order there it registered that I had already pressed it so let's um, boot manager we're gonna delete some boot options Shh, you're noisy uh, that one removed and that one we're gonna remove There. we're gonna keep hard disk number zero um, there is no hard drive number zero but I might need that later so adding a boot option and physical present devices and we have something in slot number one and I'm guessing very much that that's gonna be our NVMe drive so let's pick that one and uh, change description Try that one and commit changes. That's just a name. There, uh, I think we can now go and see our. We can change boot order, and now we have two. So we can set the NVMe first. We do that by well, we go in here and then we press enter on it's it's selected over there press enter and then we get the two options and when I go down to PCIe NVMe and press plus it moves up and then I just press uh, enter for confirming changes and commit changes there we are so I think we are ready to uh, to go out we'll just save settings here I'm going to take my uh, USB key and put it in the front of the server so that it's ready for 
for the next boot. So exit. Okay, it um, actually found the USB key as the only boot device, so it, it, it went in here. I don't know why it did that, but it saves me the trouble of of going in here. So we're gonna try and install server 2022 again. It has worked very nicely the last few times that I've done that, so we're just gonna go with that again. Enter. And that starts the installation of that. So let's see if um, if it pops up. And in here it actually does pop up. This is not actually the critical time. Well, if it doesn't pop up here, we can't use it either. But when it has installed server 2022 on it and wants to reboot, um, that's when it um, it's, it really comes to the test. If it's gonna be able to um, to see it when it boots. It says here that Microsoft operating system cannot be installed on drive zero partition one. Show details. Yeah, it's complaining about it being a DPT. So Windows cannot be installed on this stuff. It may not be supported by us. Let's try and, uh, and delete it. Yes. And will it do it then? error creating new petition eh. yeah it's not letting me uh, create a petition well it I created a petition on it but it's not letting me install on it which is mm, dreadful so that's that's too bad eh. and I do believe that we have enabled it in the BIOS but well we might have to go check so I booted and um, deleted the partition let's see what happens okay a bit more promising it said that it could only install uh, on GPT partitions uh, in an UEFI or EFI bias so uh, let's see if this goes according to plan I was in the bias and I messed around and I couldn't find anything that looked ever so slightly wrong so my biggest guess is that I, I changed the boot order in there and uh, it needed a more of a reboot to realize that. That's, that's my best theory right now. But let's see if this works. It can still not work. So in a second or two it's gonna try and reboot and, uh, and that's when we figure out if this is good or bad. Finishing up. That it's gonna restart in a matter of seconds. And I should be able to remove the USB key now. So we do that. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Boot takes a while, so. And it still has to check the rate controller, which um, has drives in it but I haven't configured anything so nothing is being passed through to the operating system so the operating system shouldn't be able to see that there is any drives in there cross your fingers Come on, you can do it. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> so, it will be installing the rest of the Windows operating system. When it comes this far, I believe it works. Okay, it all looks pretty fine. Uh, you can see there is only this one drive in it, uh, 400 ish gigabytes, and it has divided it up to a 100 megabyte hmm, healthy UEFI system partition. <laughs> Very nice! And uh, then the main part here, 
<laughs> and uh, then a recovery partition over there so yeah looks good so I am already running uh, system updates on here so that I can uh, continue using this server hmm. nice to have that boot drive I was very lucky there I was very close to making a very short video and telling you that it was impossible to run NVMe drives on this system because well it didn't work and there wasn't any obvious reason why it should work and then a reboot later no problems whatsoever so uh, I apparently should have done that in another order have set the boot sequence and then boot the server instead of it it just went in and found the USB key and um, then we booted from that and probably it wasn't ready so yeah um, very nice to see this working on this um, server well it was working but now it's also booting from it and uh, yeah that's pretty cool um, I said in the last video that these used about 14 watts active they don't use as much when they're not active so it's a worst case of 14 watts of power that a uh, 400 gigabyte PCI Express NVMe disk here uses which is a little bit much for the amount of data but it's not unusual enterprise equipment has a tendency to use a little bit more power than consumer hardware because stable and secure operations is where the effort is being made and if you have to move a little bit more air through the server well it's usually not a bad thing and uh, yeah this one is more noisy than the Hewlett Packard that's for sure but enterprise server equipment noise is not really an issue they're in a data center you have hearing protection when you go in there and I am rambling again so uh, yeah we got something working today so please uh, do help me out by giving this video a little like it worked we like that and if you're in the market for a new little hardware toy or an upgrade or a server I very much recommend bargain hardware bargainhardware.co.uk over there you get 5% off of your purchase if you use the checkout code my playhouse small letters so yeah Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.